Welcome everybody, it's the Dig Dug himself, Dak908, and I am bringing some more of this Monster Hunter goodness, because it's been a minute since I brought it, and here it is, brought to Tid, once more. Anyway guys, this time, Week of the Hammer. Now this hammer, uh, I guess I'll show you the set when I actually get into the thing, but this hammer, I literally, like I did in a couple other videos, especially the Switch Axe, I made this hammer because I've never seen anyone use it ever before. Uh, the only hammer I've seen was the... The J Barry off variant to this hammer. And I was like, you know what? Ain't nobody gonna use this hammer. I'm use this hammer. Um let me, let me show you the set real quick. Alright, what are we looking at? We're looking at Lagambi Helm, Laggy Mail, blah 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 blah. Whatever. Awaken sharpness, marathon runner, knockout king. Now I'll stuck between marathon runner or in focus, but I figured that, you know, I'll probably spend a lot of time running around with the hammer out. So I, I thought to myself, maybe Marathon Runner would help me better in my own um, in my own way, so to speak. And, you know, it also helps with just other things, not just, you know, charging the hammer. Whoa, I missed. No, I didn't miss. I just couldn't see. Anyway, oh, I'm no, I'm no master of the hammer by no means or any stretch of the imagination. I am very much a novice. I mean, I remember the first time I played Monster Hunter, I was like, man, this big old piece of doo-doo, I don't want this. And it's been that way ever since. You know what I mean? I don't like hammers. Um, I don't hate hammers. I don't hate on people who use them, I guess I should say. Uh, everything has its own uh, purpose, but for me, um, <clears throat> I don't like hammers too much. Oof. Oh. See, with the hammer, it requires actual focus, you know what I mean? Well, for me anyway, maybe not for other people who use it quite a bit, but when I, when I use it, I have to focus. If I don't focus, I'm, I'm just not going to get anything done right. Like, I have to focus on trying to hit the head to knock out the monster, which I have come to terms that I'm not very good at, period. I mean, just the other day I was doing a live stream where um, I was using a hunting horn and I could not knock out the uh, Lucent Narg when it was just me being the only impact weapon user. I knocked it out like 20 minutes into the video. Well, 20 minutes into the fight, excuse me. Um, this other guy came in to the stream later, and uh, he knocked it out in, like the first two minutes. Was I jealous? Not really. I was just like, man, I suck. <laughs> and he was also using a hunting horn as well, so um, go figure. Anyway, enough of that. I don't really know much about the hammer to tell you guys anything about the hammer. If you know about the hammer, then you know about the hammer, because I don't know nothing about the hammer. I'm just going to swing this big dumb thing and murk some of these monsters off, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's, let's talk about current events. It's the thing I normally don't talk about too often. Not that I don't have anything against current events or staying in the know of things. But as I'm doing this, Twitch TV recently just unveiled a whole lot of hoot nanny that has a lot of people pissed. Oh my god! You could at least let me get the thing off, man. See, that's why I can't do hammers, man. You get scooped every four to five minutes, especially when you got multiple hammer users within the same vicinity. Kind of makes you just want to be a dick about it all. Just send everybody flying. But anyway, Twitch TV, they recently um, pretty much did a bunch of stuff that made a lot of people angry. Like, uh, made it to where you could never save what people are calling VODs, which is not what people call it. They're called videos on demand. Took me a while to figure what the hell that was. And then on top of that, I don't like the VOD thing. It, personal thing, don't worry about it. Anyway, you can't save them anymore. Uh, you used to be able to save certain broadcasts forever. Uh, they took that away. And they also implemented the whole muting your stream if there was copyrighted music or audio, or whatever, within your stream. Now, a lot of people stream with music. You know, I don't necessarily stream with music. I used to a lot. I mean, I used to have Pandora on and just let this thing go. Um, might again, there's nothing wrong with streaming with music. But uh, a lot of people, they stream with music in the background, just subtle music. Or they'll put music parts within their stream like I would. I would normally stream music in the beginning of my stream if I was to, you know, um, what's the word? If I were to be getting ready, like I have a, I have a, a little, what do you call them? A card, I guess you could say, where it'd be like, hey guys, I'm, we're almost ready to stream. Just hang tight, you know. We're gonna get started in a little bit here. And while that uh, screen was up, it would play music. Now that music was, you know, just it was video game music because I knew of this. YouTube does does this all the time. You know, it meets your videos if you have copyrighted music on it and whatnot. But 
um, so far I checked all my videos um, I'm good none of my stuff is muted but for a lot of people who do stream music while streaming their video games is hitting people uh, real hard and they're not liking it at all there's a separate streaming service called hitbox TV relatively new not extremely popular but I can really see you know it becoming um, a popular thing due to the fact that twitch is you know being a foot you know what I mean so uh, who knows Wait, hold on hunting the hunter yeah let's do that one instead no stop 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 good hunting the hunter yes anyway um what was I going with this yeah so a lot of people's mad am I mad I'm mad for people you know what I mean it is not affecting me 100 percent but um, it could you know what I mean but then again I don't really make uh, highlights or stuff like that if I make a highlight it's just me clowning or something like that so uh, I don't know I don't really know it, it could affect me in the long run it, it won't probably affect me at all but a lot of people are kind of pissed I went ahead and made myself a hitbox so that way um, if people you know say screw twitch let it go down and burn in a hole somewhere at least I have hitbox to stream to and from what I hear hitbox actually has better stream quality and things like that which I'm you know a stickler for you know what I mean I kinda like um, having good stream quality and um, quite honestly I don't have the best internet ever well I don't have the best internet at all and possibly having you know better stream quality due to like I don't know encoding to the channel or something like that that'd be nice for me you know what I mean that, that'd be pretty cool which means I could probably um, lower my settings and still get the same output that I was getting before at the higher settings I don't know I'm not savvy like that but uh, we'll see but long story short twitch is fucking up and not a lot of people like it uh, a lot of my people that I kick it with on twitch uh, they're not liking it they're not necessarily up in a tizzy but they're they're feeling some of the backlash Excuse me. Um, so other than that, I, I can't really think of anything else that's extremely dope within current events. Yo, okay. I did eat. Then he left. Whatever. <sighs> um, I guess we could talk about. Let's talk about this one little topic because I've been. I've been reluctant. To actually do much about it. Um, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. That's coming out on the 3DS. Right? In order for me to be happy with myself. I would have to get a 3DS capture card. Now I already made moves to do this. I talked about this before. But I'm going to just talk about it again. Update on the situation so to speak. I bought a, a 3DS for about 80 bucks. Almost 90 bucks from ebay which, which was cool and then the only thing i have to, left to do is actually buy the capture card for it now the capture card is like almost 300 bucks like 280 something or whatever um it's not technically too terribly expensive i mean i can't afford it it's just that um i have to be careful with uh my expenditures because even though i can't afford it doesn't necessarily mean i should buy it immediately because you know stuff happens i want to get it closer to when um, no, Smash Bros. comes out, actually. I want to get it, like, sometime in, um, September. Then again, I know the guy who does it, he's going to be backed up because a lot of people going to be wanting it. But I'm going to try and get my order in uh, by September because I'll have the money to do it and then some. See, that's the thing. I want to get to the and then some part. Because getting, just having them, I literally, as of right now, have the money for it, okay? I absolutely do. Um... But I have to get my car worked on and things like that. There's a couple other stuff I have to do. So I don't necessarily have the money for it. But I, I in purse amount, I actually have the, the total amount of money. I just need to get um, saved up a bit more so that way if things go awry within, you know, IRL stuff, I can, you know, bounce back better. But what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to be streaming uh, from it. I think I'm able to stream from it. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure you are, because a lot of people streamed Monster Hunter 4 when it first came out on 3DS, and I'm pretty sure they had the capture card for it as well. And, um, so, what I'm getting at here is that pretty soon, 
when I do get the capture card, I'll have two games I'll be really trying to show to you guys. Uh, Smash Bros. for 3DS, and then Monster Hunter 4 is when it comes out. I'm going to try and cover a lot of uh, a lot of stuff with that because those games are going to be relatively new, and I don't want to just kind of like be left out in the dark. I want to cover Monster Hunter and I want to cover Smash Bros. I'm getting those games regardless of if I get the capture card or not. Thing is, I just kind of want to give you guys some footage of it because, um, well, I want to cover it like I said, you know what I mean. But I don't want to pull my camera out and try to record it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually. Go without. I'm gonna. I'm really gonna be penny pinching. Holy crap! I'm really gonna be penny pinching for a couple of, a couple of weeks or whatever. No, I'm not gonna go and get myself a new pair of shoes or something. I'm not gonna buy a game or something like that. I'm gonna skip out on some stuff so that way I have the excess money so I can buy this thing. So what this all boils down to is that I'm cutting back on my life to make your lives even better. Remember. I do it for you guys. I'm not saying you guys have to do anything for me back in return. I'm just saying, yo, this is what I do. I do it for the people because I like doing the videos. I know you like guys like my videos as well. So think of it like this. It's what I do for love. Your love, that is. Moving over. That was a little touching moment. Um, let's get to this Zenoga battle, I suppose. Actually, let's get to this hammer. I want to talk about the hammer in general. Now, this, this hammer, it's... It's a, re a really strong hammer when it comes to, like, raw power, you know what I mean? I mean, what is it, like, 1,400? Wait, the hammer itself. Yeah, 1,456. I mean, it's up there, you know what I mean? In terms of, like, raw power, it is definitely up there. And that's, quite honestly, the reason why I chose it. Because I do know that the hammer itself is about, you know, raw power and, like, clapping cheeks together. And this hammer definitely puts all that in perspective. The cheek clapping and the raw damage and um, heck, it even has poison. So why, why not? Only negative thing about it is it does have a, a negative affinity. I think of about like ten. It's not too terribly bad, I suppose, because um, well, it's, is it ten? Yeah, it is ten. But it, it's still really, really strong. You know what I mean? It just, I, I guess, it just doesn't really matter. Uh, when if your affinity is negative 10 when you do so much damage per hit I suppose Boom, but that's why I chose the, this weapon. No one uses it as a really high attack number and um, Hey, why not? Pretty sure there's way better hammers out there. I know for a fact there's way better hammers out there because well one um, No one uses this hammer, so it's clearly not the best hammer I could use any one of those completely like lame hammers that everybody already uses. I could do that, but just the fun in that, you know what I mean? I'm n I've never been about the, the main crowd. It's not because I don't enjoy the main crowd. It's just that you, if if I want to be relatively unique, well, you gotta go and do the stuff ain't nobody doing. You know what I mean? Like this whole week of Monster Hunter thing. I'm pretty sure this isn't a new. Well, we killed that. I'm pretty sure this isn't a new deal to anyone. You know what I mean? But um, I'm only gonna give you guys mixed sets that I that I would use for, you know, a certain weapon type, and maybe even just a certain weapon that no one really even uses. Now, granted, when it comes to lances and gun lances, things like that, I might be a bit biased. I think I actually already was. But, um, a great sword. Uh, I didn't really see a lot of people use the great swords that I, I used in there. I don't really see anybody use this hammer. And that switch axe, I've never even knew that the switch axe even existed, period, ever. Okay? I knew there was a Bareth hammer to like try and things like that but I did not know that there was a uh, Kurapeko switch axe that is complete news to me yep I launched him because I knew he was gonna launch me screw that me over you homie every time so snap but well, what do you guys think about this whole twitch thing you know what I mean oh snap Anyway, what do you think about it? You know, I still stream the Twitch. It won't be a big thing to me. I mean, it's just videos that uh, you archive after the broadcast, so to speak. And I ain't really tripping on it, so I'll be okay. But what do you guys think about it? You guys flustered? Do you watch a lot of Twitch streams? Is this going to bother you at all? You know what I mean? Let me know. I want to know. I, I need a general consensus. And then when it comes to Monster Hunter, um, what do you guys want, want, want more to see? Because I know it's been a minute since I've done the week of thing. And I want to really finish it. I only have a couple more weapons to do. Um, don't hit me. Okay, cool. I only got a couple more weapons to do. So let me know what you want to see afterwards. Like, like seriously, because I, like, I came up with the week of uh, the week of the weapons thing, 
pretty much, uh, I don't know how it even came on to me, it just kind of happened randomly, but, uh, I like the idea, it was really dope, but I kind of want to do something else, not saying I want to do something else, but it's a thing that is going to end, this little week of thing is going to end, because once you use all the weapons for a week, you're done, you know, so, um, let, let me know what you would like to see next, you know what I mean, I could put on, uh, my news, newsman fedora, and go out and try to, scour the interweb for Monster Hunter Forestman information and then bring that to you guys in, in uh, sense of video, which I have no problem with. I actually love doing stuff like that. So if you want to see more of that, uh, let me know. We can definitely get that going. Because um, it's, it's always fun to me. We can get screenshots going. We can get, you know, armor types going. We can get anything you, you guys would like to see. Because that's... I'm totally down for it, you know. The more the better. Uh, but I guess the one last thing I, I guess could probably leave you guys off with is that I recently came upon this Monster Hunter um, comic strip so to speak. There was this guy on DeviantArt. He was making his own Monster Hunter comic. I checked it out. It was actually pretty cool. Um, I can give you a link to that if you if you would like. Which I'll probably do anyway because I just want to you know share uh, what that man did. You know, it, it is kind of old. You guys might have already seen it. But it's dope. You know what I mean? He made a Monster Hunter comic strip. It'd be really cool to actually see it go in like full-blown circulation. I would love to see a Monster Hunter comic strip and I'd read it. The only qualm I have with this strip is that one of the characters on there, I mean practically sketch for sketch, pixel by pixel, looks exactly like Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto. And I can't believe he used his whole name because I don't really know Naruto like that. I don't really care for the show. Like, period. I don't even care for anime. Um, but because I know what he's about and I know how the internet pretty much like sucks the fattest sack on top of him um well f his fat sack whatever though i don't know where i was going with that whatever people like him a lot i mean a lot almost to the point of like worship and um i'm like man he's just some little faggot to me so that's the only qualm i have with that one of the characters like i mean exactly like it down to the hair and everything same hair color same face same personality it's the same person um i don't know if he has the same name or not i haven't read the entire strip but still uh, anyway, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this one here. I'm going to give you guys one day for today. I'll probably pick up later on. I just don't have a whole lot of time to do the entire hour and a half sit down. So I'm going to give you day one. This will be day one of uh, the Week of the Hammer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, just me rambling on about a bunch of random stuff that's on the brain cells today. Uh, but if you liked anything that you heard or whatever, go ahead and let me know what you did like up in the comment section, or if you'd like to see more certain Monster Hunter footage, let me know that as well, I'll get that to you, but anyway guys, it's been your boy, Dak908, the Dig Dug himself, I'm gonna holla at you guys later, take care, enjoy yourselves, it's been real, holla at your boy.